Honestly, I got nothing funny planned for the intro today. I got nothing for you. I'm just gonna tell you right now, it's gonna be a long video, so I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. Let's get into the video. What's good, everybody? And we're back with another Chaos Coaching today. If you're new, what Chaos Coaching is, is essentially we're gonna be breaking down our gameplay about all the games that we play today. So on the offensive side of the ball, maybe why I put a certain route out there, why I'm calling a certain play. I'm gonna be trying to do as much as possible today to break down what I'm doing. And then on the defensive side of the ball, same thing, why I'm calling a certain coverage. Maybe what I'm trying to do as far as run defense. I'm gonna be trying to break down as much as I can on both sides of the ball to try to help you all get better at the game. And that's why we have the whistle, and that's why we have the hat. Honestly, they're just for show. I don't do anything with the hat or the whistle, but it kind of, you know, it sets the scene, if you will, for the chaos coaching. Now, before we get into the gameplay here, and we also have to get into our lineup, keep that in mind, that's also important as well. But before we get into both those things, I do want to mention, I started posting again on my second YouTube channel. Took a long break from it, but we're back to streaming. So we're back to posting on our second channel. I actually am uploading a weekend league pack and play, which is a series we did on our main channel last year. I'm actually doing that tomorrow. So check that out for me if you all enjoy that type of thing. If not, that's cool too. But I also just uploaded a gameplay yesterday, so check that out as well. If you enjoy good gameplay, those are good games for you. If you don't want to check them out, that's perfectly fine too. Whatever you want to do. But that's enough for my spiel. Let's take a look at the lineup. So taking a look at the lineup here, I believe lineups are very important, especially in just knowing what you want to do on both sides of the ball and being able to fill personnel to be able to fit those needs, right? So Lamar Jackson, I like a fast quarterback. So I use Lamar Jackson. Bo Jackson, I like a running back that's going to be able to break tackles, going to have great speed. So Bo Jackson is another good one. Eddie George is my backup. Another running back that can break tackles, still has pretty solid speed. The receiver positions, we have Brandon Cooks. You really want a receiver right now that can meet the 90 deep route running threshold and has great speed. Examples can be Mark Clayton, Brandon Cooks, Tyreek Hill. Those are really effective receivers right now. We have Jerry Rice, we have Julio Jones. Now, the reason why I'm using those two is because I wanted receivers that could get slot apprentice and outside apprentice and route technician. So that's what we do. We have Jerry Rice with slot apprentice and we have Julio Jones with outside apprentice. Both have route technician. Jermichael Finley. What I believe to be the best tight end, actually maybe even the best player in the entire game right now, but in my opinion, definitely the best tight end. Meeting that 90 medium route running threshold, and then also being able to get that tight end apprentice, extremely effective. O-line, you just wanna get the best players that you can that can do both. Now, something that I am noting right now, I'm using Shaker, I have 25 out of 40, which means we get that plus one speed. However, if you wanna use Sprinter, if you can get to 40 out of 40, that'll give you plus two speed. I'm still debating what I wanna do. I'm leaning towards maybe switching to times two, uh, 40 out of 40 Sprinter. We'll see though. I haven't decided 100% yet. That's just something I want to note. Now going over to abilities here for the rest of the offense, we already went over Jerry Rice and several others. We have Jermichael Finley with mid and elite. I throw a lot of posts to my tight end. That's going to be inside the numbers. That'll help you catch the ball more. And then with Lamar Jackson, I have quick draw. Not 100% sure if I really like this yet. It's going to, it might create more under pressure inaccurate throws. Not 100% sure. Still, still in the works of whether or not I'm going to get rid of it or not. And then we already went over Julio Jones and Jerry Rice, as I mentioned. So getting over the defensive side of the ball, same thing. You're just trying to fill your personnel the best way that fits your, what you like to play, your style of play. So I have a lot of safeties at linebacker. So I have four safeties that can all have high hit power. So they're going to do a pretty good job of tackling. And then they're also going to be able to play the safety position because they have high speed and usually pretty good coverage. So we have John Lynch and Steve Atwater. And we have Adrian Wilson and Bob Sanders. Again, high hit power, high speed, able to play zone as well. Linebackers, Adelius Thomas and Elvis Doomerville are actually usually, Elvis Doomerville are usually my ends that pass rush. So that's where I use them at. And then Junior Seau, if we are getting a lot of trouble against the run, I might sub in Seau. But for the most part, I'm keeping my safeties in because that's what I like to do. And going over to the Billies, we'll get back to the rest of the defense. But I wanted to keep touching on those safeties for a second because it's very important here. We have Enforcer on three different players. We have Enforcer on Adrian Wilson, on Bob Sanders and Steve Atwater. And then we have Avalanche on two of them. We have uh, Avalanche on Atwater and Wilson, and then we have Selfless on Bob Sanders. You activate Selfless the same way with those five hit sticks. So if we get Selfless, that means we have two Avalanches activated because that'll activate the rest of your X-Factors. And then we have Byron Jones who gets Acrobat. We just have one AP left. It's an ability that I like, so I put that on. I wanted to touch on the safety because I think Enforcer is really good against the run right now. And you can actually get a lot of hit sticks. So that's something that I've noticed. Still, still in the works a little bit. Not sure if it's really worth it, but definitely something worth noting. For the rest of the defense here, we have Byron Jones, Asante Samuel, Dre Bly, and Rob Woodson. I like to play coverage a lot, so you're going to need good coverage uh, corners out there. If you're playing a lot of coverage, but your corners aren't great coverage players, you might end up giving up some open passes, so that's important. Miles Garrett will usually play DT. I spy my DT at times. I want a fast player there, and then when they're rushing, I want them to be a good pass rusher. Miles Garrett will meet both. So then we have Aaron Donald, Linval J Joseph, and Fletcher Cox. 
That rounds out the defense special teams. Again, just getting the best punter and kicker that you can get. I do need to upgrade my punter at some point. And then going over to the offensive side of the ball, we're using the Chargers offense. I love the trips tight end out of there. We actually just released an ebook on there over at hotrod.tips. You can use code chaos for 10% off if you're interested in that. And then we have the alternate defense. That's mostly for the nickel 335, but they offer some other good things as well. Nickel normal, nickel 335 Y, several other different defenses. That is it for the team. I know I went over the lineup a lot, pretty in depth right there. I hope it was helpful for you. Let's get into the game. Here we go with game one. And just as I mentioned before, we're gonna be trying to break down all of our thought processes throughout all the games today. And we're gonna try to get some wins. Here we go. Now I typically like to start games with the run. There's two reasons for that. One is to test their run defense. Clearly, that was pretty good. That was really good run defense. The second reason is you usually send your audibles, doing some subs, stuff like that, making sure you have your players in the right position. That takes time. You don't want to rush a play on the first play of the game, take a sack, end up with like a second and 16, second and 17. I like to just run the ball. Usually, we gain a few yards there. We didn't, and then just kind of go from there. So here we go. Our opponent seems to have a pretty nice scheme here. They're audibling into 335 wide from regular 335. Now, we're going to see if they like to blitz or not. It's coverage. Okay, so that's where we're gauging it from. We have our slant. Trying to feel out your opponent early on in games, right? Do they like to blitz? Do they like to play coverage? Clearly, they have pretty good run defense, at least from that first play, and they like to play coverage. We're going to continue to try to see what they do, see if they mix in blitzes, see if they don't, and go from there. Now, we're also going to test the run defense once again here, see if they can shoot that gap again. Didn't happen that time. We got some space with Bo. Did not happen that time. We got some space with Bo. Bo Jackson, let's go. Can we get there? Oh, we couldn't get there. I'll definitely take it, though. I love it. OJ is actually tired now, but we're going to go back to this read option. This read option is very effective down in the red zone. They have to play Lamar. As you saw, they play Lamar there, and we're able to get in. They have to play Lamar on the read option because, obviously, Lamar can do a great job running the ball as well, and they have to play the running back. I love the start. Now, as we go to kick off here, we're going to be on defense, and we're going to be trying to figure out the same things that we're trying to figure out on offense. We're trying to feel out what our opponent likes to do. Do they like to pass? Do they like to run? Do they like to throw the ball deep? Or maybe they like to take their check downs? We're trying to do the same exact things we did on the other side of the ball. We're also trying to get a stop. Now, they came out in this eye form here. We're going to try to see if they like to run dive, like to stretch. I feel like a dive. Oh, and that's our enforcer. And that's our enforcer on the first play. I, I said I'm trying out these three enforcers. I think I like the hit sticks, especially against run plays. I love it. Let's go. We have the same goals for this drive. Obviously, last drive, it worked out pretty well for us. Another hit stick from our enforcer. It worked out pretty well for us. But same thing. We're trying to fill out what our opponent likes to do. They've started off running the ball. So that's how we're going to see. Until they start passing the ball, that's kind of what we're going to rely on. Now, early in this game, I'm trying to shoot the gap out of this 3-3-5. If it shows that we're not doing a good job out of this and we need to switch up, that's perfectly fine. I like to start with this, see if we can get some hit sticks in the backfield. And here's a pass coming. I'll just go from there. If I can get hit sticks in the backfield, bad user. Bad user! Make a play on it, though! Let's go, Byron Jones! Let's go, Byron Jones! Let's go! What a start by the Chiefs team! Great job for our Mutt team! And that's gonna do it on to game two. Here we go with game two, and Pie Cam is actually a very good player. I know this player. I recognize the name. This should be a good one. We're going to be starting this one on offense again, the same strategy. We're going to be trying to fill out what our opponent likes to do. Now, we're going to do some fake hot routes, but we're going to start with running the ball, just like just like I did last game. With a couple of fake hot routes. Now, we're going to a read option. See what the run defense is looking like. We got some space for Bo. Ooh, we have, we have one person to be right there. Definitely still trying to get a feel here for what Pie Camp wants to do on the offensive side of the ball. Excuse me, on the defensive side of the ball. We should take our hitch. We got some space with Jerry. We got some space with Jerry. I'm going to go for a deep pass right here. We're looking for one of our crossers. We're going to have a touchdown. We're going to have a touchdown. Is that a oh, it's an overthrow. Oh, all right. Well, now we see. It looks like a match coverage out of there. A lot of different cross mans. We had our crosser. That's something we're going to go back to. We're not going to go to it right here, but it's definitely something we're going to go back to. We'll go to a different play. But just that's something we have in mind now. If, that, if they're going to continue to play defense like that, that could be something that could be open down the line. So definitely kept in mind here. Got our post. We got our post. Good catch, Jermichael. That's that minute in elite right there. Going back to this read option now, continuing to see what the run defense is looking like. We're going to have Lamar. We're going to have Lamar. No, we don't. That was the wrong read. That one's on me. This play's been working for us so far. Oh, we got the hitch. A little bit of a late read. A little bit of a late read. That's on me. Yeah, that's completely on me. Late read. We got to get that hitch out early. We would have had some space right there. Big third down right here. We at least have to get half back. Hopefully get into field goal range if we don't get the first down. We might have our C route. Julio! Oh, good job, Julio. I was scared about not getting the first down right there. I possession caught that in a weird way. That would have been completely my fault. Luckily, Julio was able to get it anyways. We're going back to the read option. Continue to test the run defense. Got to continue to test the run defense. Ah, good run D. Good run D. Now, right here, we're just looking for our corner route from our tight end or the zig. There's been a lot of match concepts out there. We're going to have the zig. 
and a lot of match concepts and that's going to be really good routes against the tight end cornerback is going to be really effective zig route is going to be really effective now on this third and one here we're on aggressive with bo jackson so we're going to try to just run straight forward make sure we can truck maybe and that's the first down that's all we wanted to do now we're gonna go back to conservative if you ever on a big down third and one like fourth and one inches maybe you can go to aggressive Go whatever to run you like. Fullback dive, maybe. Just remember, H-back dive. Regular H-back dive. That works, too. I use the read option there. Just go on aggressive. Plan on giving the ball to Bo and see if we can get in. Now I'm back to conservative. Make sure we don't fumble the ball. We're going back to it. We're going back to it. It's going to be there. Bo! Great start for Bo in this video. Let's go. Now getting back to the defensive side of the ball, it's the same thing as last game. We're going to try to figure out what Pycam wants to do on the offensive side of the ball. Running. Passing the ball deep. Ooh! Passing the ball short, whatever it is, we got to try to figure it out. Put it into our mind bank. Remember it for later on in the game. And then on big plays, we'll kind of know what they want to do. Starting off here in I form close. We're going to see if we can shoot any gaps. It looks like a stretch. And Adrian Wilson's got a chance. Nope. And I missed the hit stick. That was on me. John Lynch got the hit stick. But I wanted to get it with our enforcer. That's okay. Watching for any dives here. It's a pass. It's a pass. Hit stick. Ooh. Definitely watching for the dive on third and short here. We're going to see if we can shoot the gap on it. It's a stretch. It's a stretch. Ooh, uh, we're doing a decent job of containing, but we're not getting anything in the backfield. If we continue to have trouble with this, I'll switch up defenses. The reason I like to stay in 3-3-5, though, is it's most comfortable pass defense I have out of it. So if they want to pass the ball, I like to stay in this. I also feel pretty comfortable shooting gaps on any inside runs. That's why I like to stay in this. But if they if they pass the ball, if they're not really passing the ball as much and we need to get some run defense, we'll switch up. That's a dot. That is a dot. My camp's definitely missing, mixing in the pass here, too. So we have to, we, we're, we're probably going to have to stay in this defense. It's likely what we're going to have to do. Can we get back to that run? Yes. And that's why I love to stay in the 3 3 5. It's what I feel most comfortable adjusting out of. So when they do pass, we're able to make a play with Rod Woodson. Let's go. Now, after getting that turnover, we're going to go back to the play that I said we were going to go back to before that almost had us a touchdown. Hopefully, we can pick up any pressure here. And we might have our crosser. We're going to have it. We're going to have it. Go, Jerry. Let's go. One person to beat. Oh, we'll take it. But that's why I wanted to go back to that play right after a turnover. We had success with it before. We just didn't make the pass. We're able to go back to it. It's able to be a big play. Going back to this read option here. I would like to take the rest of the clock for the rest of this uh, for the rest of this half. Not allow Pacam any time. That way we can try to be up two possessions going into halftime. We've had success with this read option. I'm going back to it here. See if we can pick up another pick up another first. Ah, it's gonna be a third down. We definitely have to pass right here. But I only want to get the first down. I don't want to get a touchdown again. I want to waste the rest of this clock. Of course, though, we have to take what the defense gives us, right? We have to take what the defense gives us. Grab our post. Jermichael, great job. We're just under a minute now. We're just gonna try to do whatever we can to get in the end zone now. Clock's not really too much of a factor. We took as much off as we could. Now we're just focusing on getting seven. I'm gonna run this read option one more time. We're able to take a lot of clock. Pie camp's not using the timeouts. That's perfectly fine with me. I have to make the right reads in this read option. Yeah, we're going to give it to Bo. We're going to give it to Bo here. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Third down. Great situation. Now I have to make sure not to make any mistakes here. A pick would not help us whatsoever. Ooh, I wanted to try that hitch to B, but you know what? We'll just take the sack. We'll take the field goal. We'll go up two possessions. Only 20 seconds left. Hopefully, we don't give up any points before half. Just going to sky kick to the right here. I want to be safe. I don't want to give anything, any kick returns, anything like that. And then we're just going to play safe defense. Not give up anything to the deep sidelines and just keeping everything in front of us. I set my zone drops to 25 for our curl flats to not give up anything deep to the sidelines. That's definitely something that's important this year in your zone adjustments. We'll give up that hitch. That is perfectly cool. Waste clock there. Make the last timeout go. Again, making sure you're going into your coach i'll show you here coach adjustments going out of the bottom i like to set my curl flats to 25 you can play with the rest of these i typically keep these two on default but i love the 25 on my curl flats i'm definitely happy with the way that half ended having a two score lead is always great and now we just have to start this half off with the same mentality trying to keep them pick up while what play can wants to do and try to keep everything in front if we can get one more stop we'll be in a great spot watching for any inside zones here and then we're watching for any crossers that's what's really good out of this formation there's one crosser really good out of the trip side and we use it as well the crossers are really effective we have to watch from that's another way that 25 yard purples can come in handy i watch the tight end here oh really nice read really nice read we're getting some hit sticks with our enforcers we're getting some hits we might force a fumble i gotta watch anything going to the left flat here i have a purple on the left which is going to go to 25 yards so any flats are mine nothing's there Make a, oh really nice read that's a great dot oh i got stuck there got stuck hit Oh, I missed it. Bobby. Ah, I missed the hit stick. Gotta watch for this angle route. No, it's not this time. Rod. Ooh, Rod almost got there on that. Looking to shoot the gap here. It might be inside zone. I'm looking to shoot the gap. I missed it. I missed it. I missed it. Great drive. Absolute great drive out of half. Now, now we have to go down and get seven. If we get seven, we're in a great spot. If we don't, we might be in trouble. Once again here, we're going back to that play that we had a lot of success with. That got us almost a touchdown once. It almost got it before. I think Jermichael Finley's there. 
Joe Michael, but that, it was not there. That crosser was not there. We'll take the catch. Looking for this corner route going the other way now and this dig route. Ooh, really good defense. Really good defense. Oh, we might have B though. Nope, just throw it away. Don't make any mistakes. Just throw the ball away. Definitely do not want to make any mistakes on this drive. We need some type of points. Obviously, we'd rather have seven. We have the C route. Julio, Julio, Julio. Yes, let's go. Let's go. That's that's big. That is really big. Now we need one stop. Now on this defensive possession, we have to try to do a better job than we did last drive, right? Because last drive, fairly easy drive. We didn't really make them work too hard. Pycam did a great job dotting all the way down the field. We have to do a little bit better. Watching this drag. A crosser's right there. Crosser's wide open. John Lynch. Ooh, that was close. Great dot. We have to do a better job. I really like our defensive setup here. We have the 25-yard purple to take away the crosser. We have the cross made on the X. Can we make a play? Ah, really nice pot. Really nice job just avoiding any type of pressure there. Good job. I'm actually going to mix in some pressure right here. They've been sending five out every play. Ooh, we had a, we had a chance at the pressure. It led to a hit stick. I definitely have to mix that in a little more. Not sending pressure this time. Just got to continue to mix up my coverages here. Keep pie cam guessing. And the spy. Nothing's there. Yes. All right. Big third down right here. Big third down. We got to get a stop. Again, we're not sending pressure here, but just keeping that same look to see that we can, we can get that threat that we can do it. That's fine. That's fine. Big fourth down right here. We got to get a stop. I'm being very aggressive on defense here. We send a blitz. Nice read. Really nice read. I, I tried to send a blitz there. Play some hard flats. Hope to get home. We didn't. It's still a two minute warning here. We're still in a good spot. Up two possessions. If we continue to make pie cam work, we'll be in a good spot. Inside zone. Oh, it's all one trap or... I don't even know what that might have been counter. I'm not even sure what run that was. I think it was counter. Good job by our defense because I was not ready for it. Like our defense here. We've got a spy. I'm watching for any curls, option routes, anything like that. Those were for me. Hit stick. Ooh, that was a nice hit. Another third down. Just got to continue to make work. Just got to continue to make work here. Maybe try to shoot the gap with that water right here if we can. Ready for it if we need to. I watch the tight end. Ah, I couldn't get there. Nothing there. Send the spy. Hit stick. Ooh. Wait. Keep taking that clock. That's perfectly fine. We got to keep taking that clock. I'm blitzing everybody. I'm blitzing. We're run committing. We are run committing. We are run committing. Ooh. All right. All right. Biggest minute of the game right here. We're only up one possession. I believe they're probably going to kick off here. We need one first down. So they are going to kick deep. So what we're going to do, we're going to run a lot of read option. We're going to run a lot of reaction. We're also going to bring this kick out. The more seconds we can waste, the better. So we're going to try to take a few seconds here. That's fine. We wasted three seconds. Now we're going to go read option twice and we'll go from there. So here's the first read option. I made sure we were on conservative. I'm definitely handing it off. I'm not keeping with Lamar no matter what. Good defense on the first one that we just want to take a timeout. We're going to do the same thing. We're still in read option here. We're actually going to motion across, make it look like it could be a pass. Anything that we can do to try to throw off PyCam's user on this run play, we're going to do. We're still going to hand it off for sure. And you see one step left there. One step left. It didn't get us the first down, but that kept the user out of the play. Now we have a big third down. I think passing is the right play here. I can't make any mistakes, so we have to only throw stuff that's open. We have the post, and that's going to do it. Great catch from Finley. Awesome game to Pie Cam. Yeah, awesome game to Pie Cam. On to game three. Here we go with game three. It should be another fun one. Here we go. This is the same way we started the other two games. We're going to be starting off with read option here just to see what their run defense looks like, and also just to make sure we don't put out a bad play, not rushing. We have to set our audibles. We have to do our subs. And again, that takes time. Make sure you're doing that, by the way. That's something that's really important to me. In my opinion, you need to have the right players in the right positions for what you want them to do. And then on top of that, setting your audibles. You might not come out in the perfect play every time. So if you need to switch plays, you want to have those available to you. So definitely two things that I am really big on. It looks like they have edge threads. Make sure you're checking your opponent's abilities as well. So let's check it here. Oh, wrong buttons, wrong buttons. There we go. Under pressure, under pressure. Okay, so no edge threats. That's important to know because you don't know if you need to double team or not. Definitely want to be double teaming those edge threats if they don't have them. Don't really waste your time double teaming. It just might mess up your blocking if they blitz at all. This play had a lot of success for us in the last couple games. We're going back to it here, and that's not a great read. Oh, wow, the user. I really thought the user was going to get there. I would not throw that again. I do not recommend making that pass. We'll take the completion. Looking for some quick reads here to either the running back. Ooh, we have the tight end, I think. I think we have, no, 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 no. Woo! Our players are making plays. Our players are making plays. I'm not doing the best job right now. I'm not. Those are not passes I would recommend throwing, but we'll take the completion every single time because you know what? A completion is a completion, and we're going back to the read option. Just, just gather ourselves a little bit. Just gather ourselves. Really nice run defense. Hoping to make a little bit better reads on these passes right here. Got our, we got our hitch. We got our hitch. Oh, Brandon. Look at that. Look at that acceleration from Brandon Cooks. That, that probably was going to be five, six yards if it was anyone else. Maybe Tyree Kill gets there. That was really fast from Brandon Cooks. Just going back to keep our, keep our opponent on their toes. Going back to this no huddle read option. 
Can we get there? Oh, I, th I thought we had a touchdown. The red zone can definitely be a little bit difficult. We want to make sure we're trying to get seven down here because threes can definitely help you to lose games. Run with Lamar. Run with Lamar. We have some space. Don't take any hits. Just get out of bounds. That's fine. Now we're going to this read option here. If we have to keep with Lamar, that's perfectly cool. Should have probably kept with Lamar there. But ball! Oh, oh, we didn't get in. I should have kept with Lamar there. We're going to go no huddle because we definitely should have kept with Lamar there. I'm watching this read here. I'm watching this read. What should we do? And we're going to go to the end of the quarter. Okay, we're going back to the read option. We have to make sure we're making the right read here. We're watching this right side. Just give to Lamar. I mean, give to Lamar. I might give to Bo. We'll take the touchdown. I'm messing everything up right now, but you know what? We'll take the seven. Definitely was messing a lot of things up on that possession. You all know, if you've seen Chaos Coaching, I go off on my tangents. I start talking about random things. I don't even know what I'm talking about half the time. We have to try to get a stop right here. We have to try to, again, third game in a row. We want to figure out what our opponent likes to do. They're in bunch. Very effective formation this year. So we have to figure out what they like to do very quickly so we can start to adjust. Watching this slant here. Looks like nothing's there. Oh, that's fine. Good read. Good read. Good read. Big third down right here to start this game. I'm also not sure what bunch our opponent's in. That's something to keep in mind. I actually, I think, if I had to guess, it would probably be West Coast. We've seen Mesh Post. And it looked like Stick to Play before. That was Mesh Post right there. But it's definitely something that you have to figure out early on in the games as well because you don't know what your opponent's going to want to do and what they're going to have the capability of doing as well. Oh, oh, Byron Jones! That was not a hard flat. That was not a hard flat. That's Byron Jones making the play. That's not me. That's a purple. I'm pretty sure that's Byron Jones making the play. But what I was getting back to, I want to get back to what I was saying. You don't know what your opponent has the capability of doing out of the formation unless you know what playbook they're in. West Coast Bunch is not going to be the same as Seattle Bunch, where, where Seattle Bunch has read option it might not be the same as carolina bunch but you can tell it's carolina bunch if it's bunch offset but just again they might be an atlanta bunch atlanta bunch has a couple plays that other ones don't have it's important to try to figure out early on in games based on what plays they're running what they're in so that you know the capability of what they have watching for mesh post right here it's not nice read on the zig oh byron jones almost made a play right there again byron jones is playing really well i didn't get my spy in i didn't get my spy in for russell wilson oh nice block shed. you definitely want to be spying the fast qbs right Russell Wilson, Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mahomes, all those fast QBs, you want to make sure you're spying. It's really important. On the flip side, though, if they have someone like Marino or someone that's just more of a pocket QB, you don't have to really worry about spying too much. They can do a decent job. Wow, what a play from Asante Samuel. What a play from Asante Samuel. They can do a good job. They can do a job playing a little bit of coverage, taking away drags and stuff across the middle field, but you really just needed to stop those fast QBs. You know, ideally here, we would take the rest of this half off. That way we don't have to give the ball back before halftime. Just two clock here. Try to take as much clock as possible and make sure we try to go up those three scores. Don't make any mistakes. Going back to this read option here again, just on this third and inches, try to make sure we get that first down. Keep the chains moving. That's all we want to do. Looking for one more read option here. Then we're going to go back to the pass to try to get our seven before halftime. Bo Jackson is doing a great job though. Bo Jackson is doing a great job. Looking for any quick passes right here. Nothing there. Really nice coverage. Really nice coverage. Just throw the ball away. You don't want to make any mistakes. We're looking slant or corner right, right here for the man-to-man. -man. Perfect coverage again, but we have space. Ah, we got to take our three. You don't want to force anything. We got to take our three. Go up our three possessions before half. Then we need one stop at a halftime. As we start this half off, it's really important to make sure we don't give up any quick scores. Of course, we want to get a stop all together. We don't have any quick scores. No big plays. Keep everything in front here. Because as long as we make them take a long drive, we're going to be in pretty good shape regardless because we have the lead right now. But again, of course, we have, if we can do our best to try to not give up any scores at all, we'll definitely take it. Big second and 17. Again, we just want to keep everything in front here. Oh, that was close. That could have been a touchdown. Byron Jones making another great play. That could have been a touchdown. We'll take the pick. Byron Jones has been awesome today. And that's going to do it. GG's to all of our opponents. All the games were fun. I hope you all enjoyed them. As we close out this video, I just want to remind you, if you're interested in Chaos Clips, you can check out the description for the link to that channel. We just uploaded a video on it yesterday, and then Weekend League Pack and Play, a series that we had on our main channel from last year, is going to be uploaded on that channel this year. So that's coming out tomorrow. That's our plan. So if you're interested in it, please check out the description. If not, that's perfectly cool too. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Take it easy. Peace. How about Byron Jones today? Make it a run at your Michael Finley, in my opinion, as possibly the best player in all of Madden Ultimate Team. <laughs>